My name is Zana. Hello Zana, my name's Drunken Uncle. And I'm doing this video because we need to talk. Are you Zana? Are you? It's become clear to me that a great deal of us suffer from the illness of patriarchy. Alright, wait, 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 I've got an idea, I've got an idea. Get your dabbers out, it's time to play Sexual Harassment Bingo. It's become clear to me that a great deal of us suffer from the illness of patriarchy. And it's not just the men who suffer, women can be patriarchal too. <laughs> I feel as though I should say that actually wasn't me laughing there, although I could forgive you for thinking it was me laughing there because this bitch is trying to be so dramatic and she just comes out with nonsense. I mean, really? But why would they be patriarchal? Towards who? Other women? That's a stupid... Well, yeah, man with something weird on his chin, but as we all know, women cannot possibly be held accountable for their own actions. So many things in our system today come from patriarchy, including racism, colonialism, capitalism, classism, and of course, sexism. Wow, she thinks she knows everything. Guess all these experts with their degrees can just go home. Hey, I see, this guy gets it. One thing to remember, though. It's hard to see something when we're really close to it. And I agree with you, rapey sounding man with beard, which is why I think whoever filmed this should have zoomed out a little bit. We have to step back sometimes, look at a system critically to see what others might be seeing. I wonder if she's done that. Yeah, actually, Zana, that's, that's, a, that's actually a really good point. I'm surprised you put that in. It's kind of like you created your own response video to save me the trouble. I'm a woman of colour, so I'm going to talk about my experience but many other marginalized people, such as indigenous peoples and queer and transgender people and gender non-conforming people, will have their own thoughts on this also. But you're not actually going to talk about them, are you? You're just going to say, yes, they're there, and then you're going to carry on talking about yourself. Because let's face it, Zana, this is all about getting people to donate, isn't it? This is what it's all about. Indigenous who? And, and what the hell is gender non-conforming? What are all these labels? What is she even talking about? Why does this woman think she can speak for everyone? I mean, who the hell is she anyways? What a drama queen. You know, these talking heads are actually making a lot more sense than you are, Zana. And I know they're probably actors that you paid to come in and say this in front of a camera, but the difference is they're not cashing in on being a victim like you are, in a scandal that basically wasn't even a scandal. And if they're not actors, I think you should be very, very worried about the guy with the rapey voice. The challenge is that it is very hard for those who are marginalised such as women of colour, to express how they feel without being called the angry brown woman, or the angry black woman, or the nagging woman, or crazy. But, if you are angry, and you are brown, and you are a woman, then there's nothing inherently sexist or racist in putting those three words together to make angry brown woman, same as with black, or with white. As for the whole people of colour thing, I'll have you know, Zana, that women around the world of all colours, creeds and nationalities have it in them to be batshit fucking crazy. Oh my god, she just won't stop talking. But sometimes I do wonder what women of colour are thinking when I make a crass racial or sexual joke in front of them, and then I say, just kidding. No you don't. I bet if anyone actually thinks like that, they've got nothing fucking funny to say in the first place. Shut up, ginger beard. And then afterwards, why do they always turn me down when I ask them to dinner? Probably because of all those girls you raped. It's because of a phenomenon called white fragility and male fragility. White liberals and men in general have been told over and over again that if they just never use the N-word and they never talk about race and they never physically molest anyone, then they're not racist or sexist. I swear you said you could only really talk about your own experiences, but now here you are telling us what white men are told all their lives. Like, how the fuck would you know that? Though what you are saying is essentially true, just not in the way that you think it is. If there is no abuse, you are not an abuser. It is not sexual harassment if there is no harassment. So when I point out that actually, the system of power we live in ensures that all white people are racist and all men are sexist because they profit from a system that marginalizes people of color and non-males, they attack me. If this is the case, as you say, for all white males, then where is my fucking money? I'm sat here, I am broke, I'm sat here trying to cost myself as little as possible. I'm making fucking YouTube videos on Windows fucking Movie Maker. Where's my money, Zana? Because I know where yours is. Oh, and I forgot. 
just as they've attacked women of color for centuries to retain their power structure. All right, we got another one, but don't you think that makes up for it, Zana? Oh, no. Whoa! She's the sexist one. She's the racist one. Why, why does she hate me? Quite simply, mate, your question can be answered by your first two statements. Yeah, so I make more money because I'm a man, and I have a lot of privilege, and my voice matters at every sphere of life. But Honestly, none of those are true. None of them. I didn't ask for that. That doesn't make me racist or sexist. She talks as if men don't have any problems. I haven't had a raise in three years! Buddy, you can get pills for that. I mean, yeah, I haven't spoken up for women or done anything constructive to help women or people of color, and I take my privileges without question, and I live happily in my own little bubble, but that doesn't mean that I profit from their suffering. What privileges do you have, rapey bearded man? What privileges? And how the hell are you supposed to help women or people of colour? Oh wait, I know. It's not my fault they're marginalised. I didn't marginalise them, so why should I do anything to help them? Just because I make more money and have access to all the education and resources and housing and jobs. No you don't. No you don't. No you don't. No you don't. And no you don't. In fact, when it comes to education, uh, there are institutions for the sole purpose of putting girls into universities and colleges. I think that's a bit of an unfair advantage, if anything. But no, no, you, you carry on. You sit there and you list privileges that don't exist. You carry on. Recently, I was sexually harassed by a man. No, you weren't. In public, on camera, and the news stations posted the video without my permission. Sorry, weren't you filming him without permission? You know, that video where you made a spectacular ass out of yourself? Audacity! You have the audacity to say the girls matter? How dare you! With the question, do you consider this sexual harassment? This led to a lot of people attacking me and going after me all over social media. This is what patriarchy does. It causes everyone to attack the victim, the one who is most vulnerable. Now, if anything, that's what broadband internet does. And in any case, you weren't a fucking victim. You instigated that whole thing. This protects the system of power, which is male sexual dominance. Oh, hey, almost got a line, guys. How do we even know she's telling the truth about sexual harassment? I saw that video in the online reactions from all the men, and yeah, they were threatening rape and violence and death, all while accusing her of overreacting. We all saw that video, Zana, and believe me, you did overreact. It doesn't matter about the accusations, you overreacted. You filmed a man without his permission, and when he offered his name, he gave a parody name. And you were begging him to say dick at the end of it just so you could get pissed off at something, and when he didn't, you realised that pissed you off more than anything, Zana. You were all dressed up, but had nowhere to go. But just because she's putting her physical safety on a line to talk about this, doesn't mean she's right. That's nothing a cheeky thousand dollars won't solve though, eh, Zana? Their main complaint was that I raised my voice. They questioned my sanity because I spoke up. A patriarchal society wants women to shut up. And we have a long history of men confining women to mental asylums because those women didn't behave the way men wanted them to behave. And you have just made me reminisce about the good old days. We have a long history of men saying women are crazy and emotional when they dare to speak up about abuse. Line! Come to the front! Claim your prize! We have a long history of those same men lashing out at women, assaulting them, murdering them, because those men couldn't deal with their own emotions. I don't get emotional, okay? I'm a man. But there you go, Zana. That guy just proved you wrong there. So those men were furious because I screamed to high heaven about what happened to me. Yeah, and screamed to high heaven, you fucking dead. I can't think how you'd behave when something actually happens. Even the security guards who witnessed it didn't call the cops to help me. They called the cops on me because I was making noise. Well, shouldn't that fucking tell you something, Zana, about the way you were behaving? The, the police were called on you. Shouldn't that tell you something? And the cops arrived and demanded that I talk to them alone, all while they kept their hands on their guns. Because you were acting so tinfoil hat crazy that the police had to consider you'd put other people in danger. Shouldn't that tell you something, Zana? They didn't ask me if I was okay. They didn't suggest getting a female officer for me to talk to. They didn't give a damn about my safety. Because cops don't protect women, they protect the patriarchal power structure. This sounds like crazy cop bashing to me. 
Yes, Gingerbeard, because the whole reason she was in that building in the first place was to demonstrate against the police bunker that they're proposing in Seattle. Have you noticed how she's made one issue just segue seamlessly into the other, despite not being related in the slightest? Voice is annoying, so it's no wonder why men were alarmed. Yeah, it's kind of sexy though. I love that accent. But you'll probably scream that I sexually harassed her if I say anything about it. I'd agree with you if it weren't obvious that Zana actually wrote that. Women. Why did she get so upset over a dick joke? I mean, yeah, we burned women at the stake and stone them and rape them and beat them and sell them into sexual slavery. But can't they take a joke? It's not like the world is a dangerous place for women. Yeah, the world is a dangerous place, man with weird thing on his chin. I've got mates who've got the shit knocked out of them just for walking down a fucking road. And by the way, it's not sexual harassment if you're not at work, and it's not rape if you're married to him. <laughs> Is it any coincidence that you got the man with the rapey voice to say that shit? Fucking hell. I can picture it. It's just like, oh, um, yeah, how do you want me to say that? Well, as rapey as you can, Steve. Just, just do what you can with it. Have fun. I want to say this to all my sisters and queer and trans siblings. We don't have to take the injustices. Even if you think they're just little injustices, permitting those little injustices is what leads to the larger horrors of rape and violence that we all know so well. We have to dismantle our own internalized patriarchy. If we stand up for ourselves and each other, we can change this world. Power concedes nothing without demand, so we must demand safety. We must demand an end to rape culture. Don't exist for men. Fucking hell, Zana. This is all because you made an ass out of yourself in public and then decided it was a good idea to post the video on the internet and then you got pissy because you didn't get the reaction you wanted. You are still coming across as crazy. I never said that women exist for me. That's so unfair. I, I, I do think that women should put in the effort to look nice though. Like shave their legs and have a sexy figure and wear nice clothes. And then they should have a job and bring in money so we can be equal. And they should take the pill, because I don't want to wear a condom. Gingerbeard, I don't think you've ever seen a vagina that wasn't your reflection. Yes, I do need sex. All men need sex. How can we be happy without sex? That's why women are there. All men need sex! Asexual men and that character from Game of Thrones who ain't got a schlong. We can encourage the men who actually give a damn about protecting others to work with us to dismantle this patriarchal system. Patriarchy hurts men too. It prevents them from truly connecting with the rest of us. It makes them isolated and lonely and so emotionally fragile. So let's work together. I'm intimidated and somehow aroused, and I don't know what to do about that. Well, ordinarily, I'd suggest a cold shower, old boy, but if you're actually aroused by that, then I'd suggest therapy. I can't reveal that's how I'm feeling, so I'll just attack her. She's got power in her voice. Zana, will you stop masturbating through these men? It's scary. What if women listen to her? What if they start calling all us men out on our bullshit? We can do this if we live with honesty and dignity and courage. We can do this. Alright, bitch. You first. You first, Zana. Start with honesty. Yeah, go on, bitch. Fade out. Go on. Take that shitty violin with you as well. Right, how did we do on the sexual harassment bingo? Oh, we've got one left. Humongous.